this was surprising. So she walks through this this decrepit, this falling apart silo, but then lights are flickering. Is there power? So weird. Just flickering in the background. Yeah. Gosh. And so it's weird for two reasons. One is is in the original silo, silo zero, powering it was yeah. a big deal. Like down the deal. down deep, lots of effort, took many people to keep the generators running. And so here, it I mean, seems to be everyone dead and there's power. And, and then the second thing is flickering power. Like flickering power is really just this, this right on the, right on this peak of like working and not working. So there's no way that the generator in this silo is working. One, because it's abandoned. Two, because it's flooded with water. We see later in the episode. Right. So the power has to be coming from elsewhere. So batteries? Maybe, no way. So maybe, maybe batteries, but I would be surprised for, because how long can batteries be charged and supply power before being recharged? Assuming the tech is better, assuming That's good things point. are more it's efficient. It's, it's, still, it's still asking a lot of batteries. Right. And if these batteries are this good, why rely on a generator so much? You want like a smaller generator that can re-up the batteries, you know? So I think batteries, probably not. What about solar? I think there's no solar. There's no, I mean, it would be a good energy source, but up above the silos, we saw no solar panels. Yeah. So if we go to the picture, like up here, no solar panels, I see no solar panels. And even if there are solar panels, they're covered in dust at this right. point. You'd have to send someone up there to clean. <laughs> that's, that's true. Maybe that's the original point of cleaning. <laughs> so yeah, weird. not definitely not batteries. Well, probably not batteries. Definitely not solar because nobody goes up there and cleans them and we don't see them. Can't be the generator down below because that's flooded with water. Mm -hmm. What about a backup nuclear RTG st style thing? Do you know RTG? What is RTG? What is RTG? It's what they use in like those probes that go way out of the solar system. Oh, where solar panels really low. Residual thermal something generator. Yeah, it's like you use the thermal energy of the nuclear decay to power. Just being warm. Right. Yeah. Maybe that runs some kind of automated backup generator. Could be. Yeah, I guess there's no requirement that the silos are powered the sim similarly, but I think it's a reasonable guess that they are because if they're made by the same company, I don't know. Right, and then they're making like custom silos. Right. <laughs> That'd be weird. Maybe, okay, we did see that guy later in the episode and he has power. True. Is he maybe siphoning power True. from another silo? That's a good point. Because it, that guy has enough power for lights and music. He's getting it from somewhere. And I doubt that if all those bodies out there have been dead for that long, then yeah. it, everyone's been gone for a long time, which means his batteries must have lasted for that long. I doubt that. So maybe, okay, 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 okay. okay. So we've been operating under the idea that all the silos are independent. Okay. But maybe they're not. Maybe they have like backdoor connected power grids so that the silos are, are socially separated, but they have potential like inter-reliance on each other if there's okay. they have needs. Yeah, okay. So maybe and that I've, guy in the in the vault has figured out how to tap into the neighbors. So I like this because in season one on the hard drive, which we never got to explore, way down in the drill room, there's actually there was a tunnel in the diagram that goes to somewhere. Oh. I don't know if you remember this diagram. I do. And I speculated that that's, that went to another silo. So maybe, but I now it's, it's it's flooded, so we can't. So if there is a is a connection, may, maybe it stands to reason that there's a power connection too. And for this one guy and this flickering light, the power draw is pretty small. Neighbors probably won't notice. Maybe not notice the siphoning power. And then maybe these that's are why the original silo has to work so hard to generate power. <laughs> <laughs> Just everybody siphoning off them. Yep. Like, like, what is going on here? <laughs> um, also, the lights are flickering, which right. maybe means the power grid on the silo is de degrading over time. And so there's some flickering and the guy in the room can't shut the power off to the silo. So 
The silo originally, when everybody escaped, was fully lit, and then lights start to go out, things start to go out, and now it's just flickering over time as it's not maintained. I guess maybe. The, the thing that bothered me about the flickering is that when electronics flicker on and off, they break down real quickly. Like Which there's means... That, there's that longest light bulb in the world yeah. that's been on for like 112 years, but it's yep. it's always on. Like it, They don't, don't turn it on, turn it off. I mean, that's when it breaks. Hmm. So maybe that means these are on their last legs. Like these are the last maybe. of the lights to go and they're about to go. Yep. They're going to go. Julia just happened to have been there at the right time. Before the last, last, last light goes off. Maybe. Maybe. Sure. Yeah, weird. 